And so Operation Utopia begins, whatever that means. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. Today we have episodes 107 and 108 of our One Piece watch through. The last two, we didn't end in a great place. It's kind of up to Sanji and Chopper now, since our main crew is now trapped in Crocodile's sort of cage alongside Smoker out of all people. Again, it's not looking very good because even Vivi's attack on Crocodile did not go over well. But we're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. Let's hop right in. Here we go, baby. Go time. Oh, it's him and his dad. I want to know what ended up him being wanting to lead this rebellion. He always had faith in the king. I guess they just like people just lost faith more and more and more. It'd be hard to keep faith with stuff just drawing up like this. It just drove Koza insane okay so well, actually what we will see is like sort of descent oh so he refused to use dance powder wow i wonder why he said it i don't know it's bad luck or something he just didn't trust him but you can't blame koza it'd be hard to if you knew he had the power to make it rain in a way Jeez. Okay. okay so yeah it wasn't like anything in particular it was just over time he lost faith more and more and more in him which again you can't blame him all that much he wanted to do something to help the people everybody was just dying uh oh wait Ooh. is this part of uh operation utopia oh no well, it, maybe it was one of the agents i mean if they get rid of him then oh that causes more confusion to the entire royal army and again bell's not in great shape either right now hate to break it to you yeah now now the rebel army can just like run over the palace right uh 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 is he gonna do like where he like tells them the plan because they're in such bad shape? Mm. But she does. I I wouldn't test him like that. Dang, run his name through the dirt? Oh, maybe he wants to make it look like he ran away and like abandoned his people. I think he'll tell her. Oh, he is going to. He's like, ah, it's in motion. I'll tell you. Okay, cool. I've got my popcorn. Oh, they know where he is? Koza's just looking it. Oh, wait, he wasn't. Get wait, what's happening? Is he giving himself up? Oh, he's admitting fault? Wait, what? Why? He's, is he lying? Yo, no, he's lying. Maybe he's dragging his own name through the dirt to try and prevent this from happening. Make himself the villain? I think he is making himself the villain. And to leave? Or just apologize? Yeah, he knows that everybody here would have a grudge with him if he admitted this. I love the shots like this where it's like minimal with them in the foreground. Oh. He's like threatening them. Saying like, maybe he'll destroy everything, take it all if they find out. What? This kid. Dude. Oh my gosh. He's like full committing to this. Not batting an eye. Bro! This seems so like... Oh, Yakoza was pissed that he would go this far, but maybe he knows like his actual motives. Maybe because Koza knows that Cobra actually isn't, like, doesn't have bad intentions, but he's going this far to maybe kind of sacrifice his own name for the people? I have no idea. Maybe he wants the rebel army to look good so that nobody has to die. I have no idea. He's, like, forcing his hand. Like, he was planning on Koza showing up. Okay, so he definitely doesn't know his ulterior motives. They didn't blame him. <gasps> No. No. I thought he genuinely didn't want anyone to die. What is he doing? Wait. This is Oh my gosh, it's what's his name? Um It's it's not it's not Cobra. It's um Mr. Two. Shoot, what's his name? Oh my gosh. His face got all crazy for a second. This isn't Cobra. He is dragging Cobra's name through the dirt. Oh, me Dios, no. This is Utopia. He was, he was dragging him in. Oh, no. Whose ship is this? It's enormous. 
and he, his, his voice is starting to shift too a little bit it's like the eye got like really big and everything oh man why is it flying okay this all makes way more sense i was like this is a stupid play to shoot koza tarnishing the king's name the ability to be able to change yourself into someone else is pretty unmatched in terms of like manipulation like that oh yeah they're among the people so i'm guessing to just kidnap them hold them in one place and then yep god dang dude i can't remember his name and now i feel bad it's mr two but God dang, dude. Bon Clay! That's right. Okay. I knew it. I didn't know it, but it was on the tip of my tongue. Bon Clay. I will remember from here on out. One million percent. Look at that strut! God damn, mama, you fine! Sorry. I'll control myself. Next city is the finale. This is just another part of the operation. Hmm. As evil as Bon Clay is, you can't hate him, bro. He's got style. <gasps> oh, the kid saw a witness! He knows! Oh, no. Oh, no. You cannot kill a child. There's no way you will. Fight him, kid. You got this. No way do they kill a child. They have to abandon their town. Yeah, no way does Koza die like this. He's too important. Oh, my God. No shot. Damn. They literally just set off the war, basically throwing the rebels into in, in battle they cannot win. And they they threw an armory ship at them just to arm them. Oh my gosh. Ay, 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 this is disastrous. Yeah, so what's their part in this? Okay, so that it was their job to kidnap him. God dang it, dude. Well, Alabarna is going to be where the final battle takes place. God, dude, look at that army. Holy. It's going down. Alabarna passes. This is, oh, man. They have, they have no way to disprove it. Been framed. A battle is inevitable. Death is inevitable. I mean, what, what can they do? They don't want to fight against the rebels because they're inherently their people, but they have to stand their ground. Either that or just surrender and give it up to them. Let them take over the kingdom. This poor man has been put in charge. He doesn't even have the other right hand man with him. Oh, they're going to stand their ground. Which I'm not shocked that they would. Oh no. This is exactly what Crocodile wants though. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, he told them the plan. We just, we just found it all out. Jeez. Jesus. You can't do much in this cage, Luffy. Sorry, bud. He's giving it a shot. <laughs> I'm kind of glad Smoker's here to witness this though. I don't know. Being a part of the Navy, it's an interesting wild card. That's why we love him. He wants Adam, baby. Yeah, he's uh, he's so meticulous. Everything's calculated. Everybody working for him. It's because it's a desert. And it's like, it's just what it has to do with his power, I'm guessing. That's what it seems like. He just wants full control over this. This land. Oh, what is she doing? Is she trying to crawl away? Oh, man. Like I said, it's kind of up to Sanji and Chopper. Luffy's getting mad! And finally, we get a general idea of this plan thus far. And I like the the kind of the way they brought it in in terms of displaying what was going on while Luffy's crew also found out. But I'm excited for the next one, so let's just hop right into episode 108. It's getting spicy! Oh, so much inevitable death that should be avoided. He's doing what he thinks the king would want, but I think the king would want to avoid just violence and war at all costs, even if it means laying down their arms. But then again, how is he to know? No, I'm not okay. I just got shot. Oh, shoot. Even Crocs headed there? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Wait, they're allowed to come? Oh, yeah, give me. Go, Vivi, go. Go, Vivi, go. What? What is this? Why is it falling in slow motion? Why does it matter if it falls? What happens if it hits the ground? 
Oh, I see now why it was in slow motion. Oh no. It's in there with Mr. Three's remains. RIP my boy once again. Thanks, so he's giving them a shot to do it. <laughs> I like how he still refers to her as Miss Wednesday. Accidentally. Come on, crocodile. Come on, stop trolling. It's called a banana gator? Oh, because of the little banana on its head. That's cute. Hey, don't eat that. An alligator growing from the banana. There's so many. This is such a cool building though. Y yeah, there you go. Oh no, he's going to eat it. No! I don't know why banana gator is so funny. Re I know that doesn't shock me, honestly. Some of the sea kings are kind of cute and nice. That's okay, crocodile. I forgive you, bud. Oh my gosh, true. This is so evil. I mean, maybe they can find some other way to bust out. I don't know. Luffy. Oh, oh lovely. It just blows up or what? Oh, can't leave any evidence. I see. Dang, dude, this is such a cool place, though. Sheesh. I like how he toys with them, though, because he has so much faith and confidence in himself for a reason. She's barely said a word this whole time. She still intrigues me. How she let them get away the first time. He knows exactly who he's talking about. Pose this old man. Feels so bad for him. He just wants the kingdom that, to return to its former glory. The sandstorms, again, I think crocodile causes. I'm guessing it's just like long distance he can control them. Nope. Because it's your doing. I think I've got him figured out, but I think it's Loki super on the nose that he can do it long distance, like s spread out very far. That like small fight with those random pirates where he swirled the sand around him, I think was kind of, kind of tease it. Yep. Yeah, so just over time, he just destroyed town by town by doing that. Despite all of this, still has faith in her father. Once again, I think it was slightly obvious that it was his doing, but again, it had to be kind of said eventually. Smoker, you got any ideas? Vivi, just wait, just figure things out that you, you have to let them leave for now. He's the big bad, the big cheese. Don't do anything, Vivi. No, Vivi. She knows she can't do anything right now. But it sucks because like the whole target is right here. The whole big bad of the operation is right here and she can't do anything. Now she's just focused on saving them. You to go ask the banana gator nicely. Jeez. Oh. Tell him, baby. Small fry. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. He just pissed him off. Oh, man, he just sped up this entire operation. Hi, Banana Gator. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm a grown, I'm a grown adult. All the Banana Gators are waiting. To <laughs> they're lining up. At least they're cordial like that. Bro, I, I mean... The most you can do is use its gigantic size against it and try and get it to eat the cage. Like, kind of bait it in. It can't be that intelligent of a creature. Well, I say that, but they lined up, so. Uh, Chopper Sanji, where are you guys? Surely. What? Is that the phone? <laughs> Who is it? Wait, that sounds like Sanji. That is Sanji, right? Yes! Okay, but the question is, do they have a plan or is this all on a whim? Gonna guess the latter. That was the first time we got a look at uh, the croc. Oh man, he's gonna get mad when he realizes who's, who's calling, yeah. Luffy's chill. Doesn't he know what his face looks like? Yeah. Mr. Prince? This is his code name? <laughs> He's kind of trolling him. Is he tracking the call right now? <laughs> call him Prince. <laughs> Mr. Prince. Well, they definitely hear him through the phone. Oh, he's right outside. It's a rescue op, my crew. What? Surely he's trolling, right? Is he baiting Crocodile in? 
No, no, he's messing with them. One million percent. Usopp's just spinning! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's definitely messing. There's no way. I think that was him standing right outside the window, like looking in. I don't think he cares anymore. He's going as crocodile. Oh, actually true. Yeah, like they'd recognize him right away. I like how even the, the banana gator stopped for the phone call. Very kind of him. Run, baby! Bro, I mean, you can try to find help, but... Yeah, he's not going to let her get out. No shot. He has too much of a grudge against her. Also, she's very important. Clock sticking here, guys. They need Croc to leave so that if Sanji and Chopper are okay, they can get in and try and figure it out. It's flooding so fast. Are you sure an hour? Meanwhile, at the casino, everything's going smoothly. He's about to flood this whole place, right? Oh my. <laughs> oh, that king. I bet you would. He's got fans. He is eccentric. Eccentric looking too. This goddamn turtle. <laughs> I like how you can tell it's Bon Clay because of the way like his eyes move in like one particular way. Like he he like squints one really low and makes one really high up. Like he's like crazy. Because he is a little bit a little bit mad. Oh jeez. They're arriving at the final battle. It was a simple plan, yet effective. Yeah, uh, guys, this ain't looking good. Is this the end of One Piece? I swear I thought there were like a couple, like, I don't know, a few more episodes after this. Aside from Sanji and Chopper, I genuinely don't know what they could do. I mean, unless Vivi can take down this gator. Oh, I guess she can go find help, but still. Just keep running! Oh, he's not letting her get away. Oh, no! Okay, just go! Okay, go! Is Smoker just sitting there like all calm? My goodness, I guess there's not much he can do, but still. Oh! Oh! Bro, bro wiped. <laughs> I love how that's the name he picked for himself. Maybe he wanted to bait him into the South Park Town so he could get in. Oh, oh no. That sounded like Chopper. It was like a very soft voice. I love this soundtrack. It's a good chase scene soundtrack. Man, it's just flying! Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. She's gonna start asking random people or look for Sanji? Dude, these poor people just wanted to gamble. There's not much help you can get now. Oh. Yes! Okay, so Chopper's distracting and Sanji's there to try to help get him out. <laughs> he speaks with a lot of confidence for the place flooding right now. Okay, yeah, I figured it was Chopper. Had a soft voice. He's so slick. <laughs> the glasses, bro. In the face of everything going horribly wrong, Sanji is cool as a cucumber, but what's new? Then again, I don't think he really understands the uh, dilemma here, but still, it's just so him. I love I love that they actually made this plan for Chopper to distract at the same time. But again, they're, they're a crew now. They, they get like each other's strengths and weaknesses. I don't know exactly how Sanji can break open the cage unless he actually does want to fight the banana gator. But then again, we saw them lined up. Like there's so many. They can't take on all of those. At this point, we need some other wild card from the outside to come in and i genuinely don't even i can't think of a single person but i like how these two episodes kind of like uh identify the the strengths of these agents we haven't even seen the other two like uh, in terms of like kidnapping cobra i kind of wish we had gotten to see that perspective but then again maybe they've just left it out to show us in the next uh the next two or so but guys that has been it for episodes 107 108 of our one piece watch through. do drop us up on the channel if you are new with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace bum, 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 bum.